Georgia's marine fish play an essential role in keeping the ecosystems of our state's inshore and offshore ocean habitats healthy. That's why the Coastal Resources Division of the Georgia Department of Natural Resources does our best to make sure fish have a place to thrive. Many types of fish all over the world live in special ecosystems called reefs. You may have heard of Australia's Great Barrier Reef or Graves Reef right off the coast of Georgia. These are natural reefs formed as marine life like corals and sea fans cling to hard surfaces and rock formations, or even the hardened remains of previous corals. Georgia's coastline is made up of sand, shell, and mud. The underwater landscape looks much like what you see at the beach at low tide. This sandy bottom stretches for many miles out to the continental shelf edge. There are not really many places for fish to hide in a flat, open environment like this. They need a protected space to feed and spawn. That's where the Coastal Resources Division comes in with something called an artificial reef. An artificial reef mimics natural formations like the Great Barrier Reef and Graves Reef to provide fish with a place to live in areas where they might not have otherwise been able to. In order to build an artificial reef, we provide structures where fish can hide from predators and will attract other types of marine life into the neighborhood. And while the structure itself is man-made or artificial, the reef that forms on this formation is totally natural. Big chunks of rocks and even steel and concrete are obvious materials to build reef foundations. But did you know we've also made reefs out of surplus army tanks, old metal bridges, and retired ships? Almost any substantial surface that is clean, free from toxins, and won't trap animals can be used. Fish can find their new home here right away. And within a year, encrusting organisms like coral and algae and barnacles will attract themselves to these surfaces. Sea turtles love these new hiding places. After a time, the reef will create its own self-sustaining ecosystem where every organism plays a role in the food chain. Artificial reefs in Georgia's inshore marshes are similar, but instead of being located far out into the ocean, they can be found in our tidal creeks and rivers. They can enhance areas that lack suitable habitat for fish and provide increased recreational fishing opportunities. While offshore, Coastal Resources Division may create reefs from large items like ships, the inshore reefs are made from smaller materials. Concrete structures like fish aggregation devices, such as reef balls, have been placed all across Georgia's inshore coastline to promote healthy fish habitat. Inshore artificial reefs not only provide habitat for fish, but for oysters as well. Oysters are known as a keystone species. This means that oysters are so important to habitat that if they're taken away, the entire ecosystem would stop working. As filter feeders, oysters are able to filter out man-made pollutants and naturally occurring bacteria. Oysters have the ability to clean about two and a half gallons of water every hour, making their job very important. Oysters prefer to build their mounds upon their own shells. So while surfaces like rocks and concrete make great inshore fish habitat, we often choose to recycle discarded oyster shells back into the ecosystem. Oyster shells can be used to restore and enhance oyster reefs. To rehabilitate an oyster reef, oyster shells are collected together in net bags so they can be handled. These bags of oyster shells are placed along the edge of a tidal creek as new oysters grow on the old ones. The mounds grow as they mature into adults. The revitalized mounds help protect the shoreline by acting as a buffer against wave action along the creek. The healthy reef will also provide additional fish habitat. Building homes for fish is an essential part of maintaining a healthy inshore marsh system and a healthy habitat along Georgia's coast. We hope you've enjoyed learning about the inshore and offshore reef program.